Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. As time goes on, hardware does evolve, and it's likely that if you buy a computer these days, you no longer have the ability to connect uh, some of your legacy devices like, well, let's say an IDE hard drive, or let's just say um, you get rid of the notebook that you have, but you didn't get rid of the drive, and it happens to need an enclosure of sorts, but you really can't find an enclosure that you like, and you just want an Uber adapter. You just need to get the data from the drive. You don't need anything permanent. You just need something temporary. Well, I was kind of in that position, so I was looking around for one of these jobbies, it is an Uber adapter, I would say. Unfortunately, it is completely unbranded. That usually worries me, but it was given very good reviews on Amazon.com. It's a 5-in-1, a serial ATA, and an IDE 1.8, 2.5, and 3.5, and 5 and a quarter inch hard drive to USB 2.0 cable adapter. And in the kit, comes with the AC uh, adapter cable. Comes with your power adapter. Oops. Dropped one of the... Uh, power connectors here. This would likely be for the uh, smaller hard drives that it comes with. Um, and then on the other end of the power adapter, you would be able to plug in, you know, normally you'd plug this, you've, you've probably seen this part of the adapter, I'm not going to zoom in or anything, uh, coming off of any device inside of a, a desktop machine. Uh, you can now plug that directly into this AC adapter and power that device outside of your uh, desktop case. And then of course there's the I guess it's kind of a, a universal USB 2.0 to IDE and SATA adapter. So there's the SATA connector on the outside. It even comes with this little micro SATA cable, which is really, really nice. There's another power cable. So uh, you've got the uh, drivers and utilities disk on the box. Of course, it claims to have compatibility with just about anything and everything. Uh, it's got a little Apple logo. Of course, it's not the official Apple logo because it's like green. And I don't think anywhere in the history of that company has the Apple logo been just solid forest colored green. And then kind of a, a Windows logo, uh, yeah, right there. I mean, the, the bullet points look nice. It's USB 2.0, plug and play, hot swapping, supports all the variety of IDE and serial ATA hard drives. Um, you know, the regular uh, rigmarole of what USB can do. Um, says it supports 98SE all the way through 2003. Does not say anything about Windows Vista. I'd be surprised if it didn't work in Windows Vista. And then it says Mac OS X. Uh, on the back, <laughs> it's about the same. It's got some pictures to show you how to connect things up. And I, I suppose if you didn't know how to connect these things, you probably shouldn't be buying one of these kits. The big reason why I got this is because I did have uh, a, a, mine, or a smaller a hard drive uh, that uh, a 2.5 incher that I pulled out of an MP3 player, and in doing so, I needed to get the MP3s off it and had no other way. And there were certainly adapters for it, and I could get an enclosure. But I thought, well, why not just kind of go for an all-in-one device kit, just you know, to save space. And certainly, there may come a point where I want to do uh, another kind of conversion, and instead of having to buy another adapter, might as well save my money. So I'll be sure to link to the uh, page that I, I purchased it from on Amazon so that you'll have the exact link because there's no name on it. Like there's no brand or anything. I mean, it's, it, the box is, you know, full of bullet points uh, made in China. So it's likely to contain lead. Just don't go licking the power adapter. That's generally not a good thing. You um, should probably avoid doing that with just about any kind of electronic device. You, know, you don't usually want to lick things that you would normally plug into the wall. I mean, if you want to, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, you know, maybe you're that kind of person. I, however, am not. I like to keep my electronics safely dry uh, and, and firmly believe that they should remain unlickable. So maybe you guys uh, know a bit about this or you know of other conversion kits that are, are really good for helping you deal with legacy devices, especially in a newer age. And, and really, uh, what's the difference? Um, well, yeah, different uh, connectors, but it was just a few years ago when those devices were around. I mean, they're not old by any stretch, but it gets more and more difficult for you to find components that can match uh, other components as time goes on. It's kind of the nature of the way uh, hardware kind of rolls along. It's a little different from software. So anyway, uh, my email address is chris at perillo.com. Uh, feel free to uh, send me an email if you want. Um, and oh, by the way, I think this is like 20 bucks. Relatively affordable. 
Um, and hopefully uh, everything will turn out fine when I do data dumps. We shall see. You're welcome to stop by the chat room. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, typically talking tech, hardware, software. Uh, sometimes we're even discussing the uh, color of my skin. As uh, you can see, I am about as white as uh, this piece of paper. And the black really, really makes me look white. Of course, my inability to dance and keep rhythm just kind of seals the deal. Anyway, you're welcome to join us in the chat room. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.